Hey guys, this is Captain Duck, and this is my Dwarf Fortress video tutorial part 10 already. And last time uh, we failed at trading, but um, now we're starting with special screen. Sometimes uh, a liaison will come of the other dwarves, and they'll start talking to you. And um, yeah, you can give them some, some preferences of the stuff you want from the other trader dwarves, and they'll give you some, uh, some things to say that they want from you. Um, now in a moment, an uh, other screen should pop up. That uh, let me change all my settings. Let's pause the video until then. Or not? Uh, since Solid Snake or or the leader of the wars is very busy, and he won't speak to the Dwarven Yezon at the moment. But well, I also promised to finally explain bedrooms. I made some more. I like these uh, three by three rooms. Let's actually install one. Making a bedroom for a private dwarf is pretty quite simple. Uh, first, build a bed in a room. And since I want bedrooms for all of them, I'm going to build a lot of, bed lot of beds. And let's make a few small ones over here to show how those works. Work one over here, and I'm out, out of beds. Well, that's fine. The other thing a bedroom needs, a uh, private bedroom, is a door. So, let's install doors. Um, doors can be placed everywhere. They need to be put between two types of walls. So, yeah, basically any entrance, you can make a door. Like here. And I have about 20 doors. I'm going to place some of them at these rooms where I place beds in. And it goes pretty fast. This is the beauty of out of uh, selecting things in the list here, since you can just, just spam enter. And now we need to wait for those to be installed. That'll take a while. Um, so back to pausing the video. All right, something great has happened. Um, some migrants have arrived. As you can see, migrants will actually come here, and there's taking some cats with them, I assume possibly. And there's a lot of them coming. Good. This means more dwarves, which can we have more tasks. Let's look at our unit list. As you can see, there's a lot more units here at the moment. And um, yeah, also you can see which ones are new because they don't have a, a custom name yet. So I'm going to take a moment and name all these new dwarves. Before I do that, uh, let's show you how. Uh, press V, I, and to change the name, let's name this one Link. Space out. V I N Samus and yeah, it works like that. Okay, pausing the video again. All right, all the all the dwarves are named. See if you can uh, recognize all the names. Um, now let's actually set up uh, the dwarves to do some tasks. They tend to come with some jobs like ranger and hunter, cooks, but I don't want those at the moment. Uh, first thing I'll really need to start training some dwarves for, to be in the military. Um, so I'm pressing M. Uh, no, I'm going back to the main menu. Go back to my fortress. Press M for military. This is a, uh, a list of all the dwarves you have, and here you can activate some of them to be in the military. I don't want any ranger or hunters at the moment, so Samus and Frank West are going to be the first ones in our uh, new to make army. Bowyer is pretty useless too, so he's in the army, and that will be it for now. Um, now let's make a squad of them. If you make a squad, they'll stick together. Uh, so that will be nice. So Samus is going to be the boss of Frank West and Link. Who we'll now work on to Samus. Um, and that will be fine for now. Uh, now we can set our weapons with W. And there's a whole list of weapons we can have. We can have them unmanned as wrestlers, have them as axes. Crossbow Dwarves, Hammer Dwarf, Mace Dwarf, Spear Dwarf, and Sword Dwarves. I don't have any at the moment yet. So, uh, instead of that, um, let's stick with this. Link is going to be a wrestler, and uh, Frank and Samus are going to be Crossbow Dwarves. Um, that'll work for now. Also, here at the end, this option. Uh, showed how many weapons they can have on hand. 
So if one breaks, they can have an another one in the backpack. So standard, it's only one, but if you press enter, you can actually change it to two. It's probably pretty nice to have your military having two weapons on hand. Um, also, Link here is going to get uh, some armor, chain. Uh, there are three options here: uh, light, light chain, and plate armor. They'll get the highest uh, possible armor they can get. Um, we don't have any at the moment, but when we do, they'll pick some up. Same for this. Going to set this to bucklers. Buc uh, bucklers for bucklers, and uh, sh this is for shield. Bucklers for now. Um, so, that seems fine. Press space. And we have really actually a bit of a, a military now. Now, military will go around and train in uh, the barracks normally. So let's start training over here. Um, but another thing they need is, because I have crossbow dwarves, they need an archery target to actually build, to actually shoot at. So let's build um, an archery target. Do that with B, B. And then all at the bottom here. Should be, yeah, an archery target with capital A. Don't need to build much. I'll Build near here too. Um, from Dolomite, of course. Yeah, I'll build them like this. Now I have to wait for those to be built and some other stuff to happen. Um, but first, let, let me look, take a look at the other dwarves. These are all nice uh, next to each other as soldiers now. Um, Kirby is a cook, which is nice. But you could also do some planting on the side. Let's set that. Let's set that. CPL and activating farming field. Um, the other dwarves. I don't need a blacksmith at the moment, and I don't need a fishery worker. Um, so I'm going to set those. Pausing the video as well, I'll do that. All right, I've done that. Um, I've took all the, the jeweler jobs and the crafting jobs away from Salt Snake and put them on Kratos, so Kratos will be our jeweler and craft dwarf at the moment. Uh, Fake Van Wong is, uh, will be a fisher dwarf. Uh, Kirby was a, a planter already. Um, and Simon Belmont on the nameless one is staying peasants. Peasants are basically don't have any jobs, you just haul stuff around. But you'll need them. And uh, they're very important in your fortress, hall. nothing will work, so. It's uh, maybe a low job for them, but it works. Also, look, some of some of my beds are finally placed, and the doors are too. Uh, doors have a couple of options. Uh, if you press L, you can make them forbidden and stuff like that. Uh, not that important at the moment. First, let's make a private bedroom. Pressing R at the bed, enter to make it. Uh, now I can assign it to someone. Well, I'm assigning this bed to um, Mario. He's a miner. Very important. And yeah, like this, I'm going to assign all the beds. This one to Sonics, R, Enter, A, this one to Master Chief, and so on and so on. And in a while, all the dwarves should have beds and uh, their own little bedrooms. Um, so that's for that for now. I'm going to set up some more. Um, Julia commands to cut everything. CR, CR, so he'll be busy and make a lot of rock crafts. Uh, one thing with all the crafts you can make, you can make tons of them, but uh, dwarves have to drag them individually all the way to the tree trade depot. Oh, finally, this shows up. Um, okay, hold that, pause that for a moment. Here's a list of all the things your dwarf can can ask of the uh, the outpost liaison. Like if you want to select some cow leather, now next year the dwarves will actually take some cow leather that are with them for me, and yeah, I'll pay double the price for it, but I'm be sure to take it. With minus plus your scroll here, also I want some um, some anvils. If you didn't take an anvil at the beginning, this is the the place to ask for them. And hopefully the next year they'll bring you an, uh, an anvil. Um, for the rest, I just want some cheese, some food for my dwarves. 
some meat types, maybe a couple of ropes, and that will be all for now. Yeah, that should be fine. Uh, so I'm pressing F9 to be done with this, or space even. And now next year the Dwarven Liaison Search brings some more stuff. Um, as for now I'm out of time, so this is the end of this video, and then just notice I don't have any music. Oh well, next time the new video with more crafting, uh, and setting all, all up these migrants, and um, I don't know. So, see you guys in the next video. Yeah, this will be in the next video. Later, guys.